Welcome back, guys. We're not cross over Marky Mark here. We're gonna go straight to our topics about the Raptors, Jared. Mm -hmm. What do we got? You know, we we have a lot of things to talk about for the Raptors. You know, the second half of the season's coming up, but we're here with the ATB News, guys. What do you guys think about the first half of the season for the Toronto Raptors so far? You want to get on? I mean, I don't think you can have this conversation or without starting with Pascal. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's one of yeah. the biggest surprises with yeah. us, um, kind of being affiliated with yeah. the Raptors 905 from the yeah. inaugural season. Mm -hmm. we, we feel like this personal connection to him because yeah, we, we've, we've, we've seen there and been growth. there for his development yeah. and yeah. his growth. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's so, it's, so it's, exciting it's to watch. It's so amazing to watch. And to see him hit like one career high after the other is just unreal. But I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah. when you're talking about like the, the team, I mean, I like this team, but we are where we should be. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. have, we have all the right pieces. Um, they just need the chemistry. Like we have, we are where we should be. I don't think it's anything special. I think we should actually be a little bit further ahead. We should have won the three game series yeah. with, uh, with the Bucks. Bucks. Yeah, that's how I was worried about it. Yeah. 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 The only thing I'm yeah. worried about really is the Bucks. You know, the Bucks and, and I feel like the first half is, I mean, like, like she said, we are where we need to be. You know, I don't think anyone should be excited too much, you know. At the end of the day, you know, we did get some good pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, we still need to see how they're going to, you know, be incorporated into the lineup and how they're going to flow and everything. But, yeah, I mean, like, don't get too excited, you know. You know, we still have a lot to show and, you know, and, and do. So, yeah, I mean, we're good for now. <laughs> yeah. you know? we're, we're content. We're, we're content, content with the first half of the yeah. season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most calm, cool, collected answer I've ever gotten from about the Raptors this season. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Everyone's just what? hyped, like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're we killing gotta, it. Gotta, gotta stay level. Yeah, 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 too much. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, like, yeah, once the free... playoff comes, yeah, I, don't know, you know, I understand yeah. the point, because, like, with the past seasons, Raptors have been yeah, making been playoffs. Exactly. So just, yeah. All we're doing is waiting for the playoffs. Yeah, we have Kawhi, we have Gasol, Jamie Lamb. It's like, yo. Right. What, what yeah. makes it more encouraging, though, is that we have better pieces yes. to help us in the playoffs. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah. if we ever get, like, those dry spells, you know, we can throw it into Casal. Like, you know, like, we have, mm -hmm. we have guys like Siakam who can just get his own shot now. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we haven't had, like, a role player like that who can do that. This guy's, he just scored, what, 40-something points? Yeah. Like, without Kawhi. Oh, man. Like, without Kawhi, like, <laughs> right. he, he's shown that, yo, I can, I can do this, you know, like, I can take over, you know, and so. You, and you talked about those additions. What do you guys think about how, you know, uh, Masai Ujiri and Bobby Webster have been going after uh, Gasol, trading for uh, Gasol, for JV, DeLon Wright, and CJ Miles, and even picking up Jeremy Lin, and just recently for a 10-day contract, Jody Meeks? Um, I like it. I like it. It shows that they're trying to go for it, and, and they're really serious about what they're saying. You know, a lot of GMs like to talk to talk, but, you know, the, he's actually – showing that I'm, I'm about what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I like, I like the pieces. I like the limb pickup, you know, cause especially with Van Vliet being yeah, hurt, you know, I like that pickup um, and it helps beef up our bench a little bit, adds a little bit of scoring, takes relief off of, you know, Kawhi, you know, a little bit. And, you know, the Meeks pickup, you know, I, mm -hmm. you know. You got two Tendry, Ben McElmore, and him. Yeah, so we just, gonna, we just need some shooters. We just yeah. need some shooters. You need yeah. some shooters, but it's just yeah. like, okay, I mean, he hasn't really played in a while yeah. and you don't really know what we're going to get from yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, you know, I guess that's why they gave him a 10 day. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, kind of see where he's Try at, him. you know. Mm -hmm. I, f I still feel like we need a, 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 you know, one more pickup, yeah. you mm -hmm. know. I feel like you could see how um, their strategy is coming to life based on all the key players and key pieces mm -hmm. that we have been adding. Mm -hmm. I just really hope that um, they develop that chemistry for the last half yeah. of the season. I think that's important. Right, They're all, all the pieces are there. They just need to, yeah. to fit together, right? Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's good too that we have like one of the easier schedules yeah, so we can sure, kind of yeah. like yeah. smooth into it a yeah. little bit. Like it doesn't really give us that pressure to kind of like, you know, I mean, there is a little bit of pressure to get things together, but it, it helps when the opponent is not that hard, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or if the schedule is lighter than everyone else, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good, too. And we've seen what the Raptors have been doing, you know, just pa this past week, you know, the long break, they play on Friday, which I know this uh, episode's air, but they have a long break. I just want to see what happens with, uh, you know, Coach Nick Nurse does and playing some, you know, maybe some new plays for Gasol and Jeremy Lin and maybe even from Ben McLemore and Jordy Meeks, put him on 
uh, the whole um, playbook. Um, and you, you talked about the second half of the season. Would you guys think they should go all the way for the first seed, or should they, you know, sit a little bit back and sit on the second seed? What for are you the predicting? Playoffs? I guess, in a sense, what's going to happen in the second half of the season before post? Mm -hmm. Want to go? Go ahead. I mean, I think, I think they should they should go for that first seed. I think it's important, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you um, you're going to match up against you know, Milwaukee or any of the, the three teams in the East, Philly, um, Celtics, and, um, Bucks. And, and, and the Bucks, those three teams, you want to have the, the number one seed, mm -hmm. you know, against them, right? Especially the Bucks, you know, because, you know, they already beat you. They, and, have, and, they have our numbers. And they yeah. have scary. our number, and yeah. it's like, they're not yeah. scared of us. You can yeah. see it when they play us. They're not, they're mm -hmm. not scared. Like, so you definitely need home court against them. I feel like they should definitely try to get it, mm -hmm. you know? So it helps that we have the easier schedule, so it's definitely a, attainable. I was just going to say that, and right now, I don't think, like, aiming for the first, that should always be the goal, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. And we're only two games behind the Bucks. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's not that, it's not that, yeah. it's not that far. It's, we're not that far off, so mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think we'll get it. And imagine having the best record in the NBA, mm -hmm. potentially going to the finals, yeah. home court against it's, potentially yeah. going to the that, 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 that would be huge. That would yeah. be huge, too. Don't yeah. want to yeah. play in the Oracle. You know? <laughs> Trust no. me, don't, don't <laughs> and, want to play And on top, to and on top of that, we have their number. Yeah, which is too. which yeah, is good. True. That 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 yeah. would help us mentally. Mentally, yeah. for you know, sure. like and and we need all the mental help. But yeah. first, we gotta make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we gotta so, make, I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna find. It's a matter of that. positioning. Yeah. What's, yeah. And what's another key thing is is Laurie, man. Yeah. Larry is healthy, another yeah. key yeah. factor. He, he has, has to, to have bring a shot. It. Yeah, his he shot has to, has to be it there. He can't have a shot broken. Yeah, if he's not bringing it like offensively, I mean that's gonna hurt us. You know, we need him to bring it offensively this time. Like, and he doesn't have no excuse not to. You yeah. know, there's so many other, like, offensive, like, weapons we have now mm -hmm. where it's like it's not really, the pressure's not really on him as much to really perform. So that should, like, you know, help him perform better, right? So mm -hmm. it, I, I think uh, he's the X factor to, like, our success in the playoffs. It, it really still rides on him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Last topic, let's finish it off. The game tomorrow. Hmm. Spurs are coming in against the Raptors. DeMar DeRozan's return to Scotiabank Arena. What yeah. are you guys' thoughts about that? What are you guys gonna, gonna what are you guys predicting from I mean, what's gonna happen? I feel like the Rosen's gonna go off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's gonna go off to some set, to some extent. Mm -hmm. We're gonna win. Yeah. But I feel like he's gonna go off. He's definitely still holding something, even though he says he's moved on. Mm -hmm. He's definitely still holding. If I was him, I would still be holding something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. seven years. The loyalty. Yeah, man, I'll be seven ready years. to. Oh, I'll be ready to draw fifty. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't think Raptors are gonna let the same thing happen mm -hmm. twice. Not yeah. on their own home court. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. Not a chance. Yeah. So. I don't know if it's going to be a blowout, but we'll definitely take the W tomorrow. Mm, I hope, sure. anyways. Yeah, we hope so too. Kawhi has some redeeming to do because yeah. he was, yeah. he was yeah. like nowhere to be seen the he last time. He did not play that last you know? game. He played <laughs> better than any of the Raptors that game. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody right. showed up in the Raptors that Unreal. game. We got blown out. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you guys, uh, and I just want to see how what, I, what the crowd reaction, you know, from the jump since from the beginning of the game and throughout the game. We'll see where it, we'll throw in some boos for Demar Rosen, hopefully. Nobody's gonna boo. No, nobody's gonna boo. Yeah. If he gets, yeah. if, he gets yeah. if he fouls out Kawhi, I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll have to boo him. Kawhi's not gonna let that happen. Not tomorrow. Like, like, you can't boo someone that they yeah, gave his card out to the Raptors and was treated that way. Rosen is Mr. Toronto, man. I feel like if anyone even tried to boo him, it would just come out as a. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's going to happen, you know, yeah, like, it's, like, you know it's going to happen, you know, he's just Mr. Toronto, man. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be good, it's man. Gonna it's going to be good. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Same. Sure. <laughs> well, that's all we have, guys, for our episode tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had some fun discussions. Mm -hmm. Any last words you guys want to say? Some shout outs before we end the show? Uh, I just want to shout out my team, you know, my team. You know, I mean, can't wouldn't ATB wouldn't be where it's at if it wasn't for my team. So I just want to shout them out. You know, ball in the six. You know, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Where can they find you guys on? Uh, what's your social media handles or maybe Instagram handles? You guys can uh, at ATB News. Um, you can find me personally, uh, Mr. 
uh, ATB.7. And mine is at Hyde G at H E I D Z underscore G. So on Instagram. Awesome. Any last word, Jared, before we close yeah, it up? Yeah, man. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And subscribe to us on YouTube channel, Pinora Crossover. Check us out all our content there. Awesome. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Other than that, stay ballin'.